είναι η αγαπημένη της ερυθρόλευκης εξέδρας. Μια εκρηκτική παρουσία που έχει κερδίσει τους φιλάθλους του Ολυμπιακού και όχι μόνο. Εντυπωσιακή, πρόσχαρη, τολμηρή. Αυτή είναι η Μπέριλ Μακίσικ, σύζυγος του forward του Ολυμπιακού, Σακίλ Μακίσικ, που πλέον νιώθει την Ελλάδα, τον Ολυμπιακό και το στάδιο ειρήνης και φιλίας σπίτι της. So, it was weird to see the, the post that you did from the OACA, but did you actually go there? It was, it was funny, to, funny to see. Yeah, I, I had a lot of reactions to it, but uh, I'm actually not allowed to go to OACA for my own safety. I do want to go, but I don't know how it will turn out if I were to go there. I'm thinking about going next time because of the reactions I got from the Pana fans. So I don't know, we will see next time if I can go or not. <laughs> I, I think it's, I can say, family, because I, as much as they love me, I love them too. And I'm so happy to feel this way in a foreign country. Even though my grandparents are from the Soniki, I'm, I feel like I'm home. Like I'm loved so much here. I don't even feel like I need to go to Turkey to feel home, you know? Like that's just family for me. How do you handle the comments, especially on Twitter? Especially from Panathinaikos fans, but from like fans in general, how do you handle not the hate comments, but the negative comments. I just laugh at them. You know, it, when they comment, no matter what they're commenting, it's like, um, how do I say it? It, ha it adds reaction to my tweet, so it will show to a lot of people because they are commenting on it. So, you know, I'm just like, thank you. <laughs> I'm, I actually laugh at them. I don't feel any type of way. It's okay, because I understand, you know, So sometimes they say crazy stuff and I'm like, oh, I'm about to say something really crazy back. And Shaq, I will text Shaq like, I'm about to say this, is this okay? He'll be like, keep that to yourself. Okay, we laughed about it together and you don't have to post it. Like just, you're good. I mean, I, I do say like, you can kill them. And that's how I can uh, fix this for <laughs> the yeah. video. <laughs> I say this, but... Um, I don't, I try to like um, not talk to him so much before the games because I don't want to be in his head. You know, if it goes bad or if something happens during the game, I don't want to be the person, oh, you got in my head before the game and I was stressed and I was under pressure. So I'm just like, you know what to do. I'm like, see you after the game. Oh, that's a tough question. I know, I know, I know. But Okay. I mean, the dunks is just like when he jumps and I see his arm go like backwards and then he just goes like crazy power. I love that moment. But also when it's needed and I see him at the three point line and he just like shoots a three, that's also a lot for me. So I don't know if I can actually pick. Of course, three points are good, but dunks are just like what gets me, you know. Hyped. Yes, yes, absolutely. Yeah. For you, what's the most difficult opponent other than Panathinaikos? Because the games against Panathinaikos are a whole different story. <laughs> But other than that, which game would you like circle in the calendar? I would just say one thing about what you just said. I don't see Panathinaikos as a hard opponent. I will say that every year is the same, especially now that they're a new team. I don't see them as a, like, a hard opponent for us that we won't be able to beat. I mean, with the other teams, maybe, but against us, I don't see them winning. I mean, I hope it stays that way, but I think they got to figure out how to work together first, and then they got to come it for Olympiacos, time. you know, because we are now family. We've been here for a long time. We have new players, but it's not as many as Panathinaikos, so sure. that's my just little note, side note, <laughs> yeah. But uh, other than Panathinaikos, Um, hard team, of course, uh, Real Madrid after the final four last year, especially one person that I don't yeah. like anymore. <laughs> You've um, said that in case Olympiacos wins a Euroleague title, you're gonna have another tattoo. Is it still like yes. a promise? Yes, I am. Um, I found an amazing tattoo artist now, so I will for sure get an Olympiacos tattoo. Maybe the logo or maybe just the Olympiacos name. Somewhere, if we win EuroLeague title this year, 100%. I was raised like like a little boy, like I will climb on things, you know, jump over the tables and stuff like this. 
So when I see Survivor, I'm like, oh, why not? But of course, I would want to go to the Greek Survivor. Yeah. So I don't know, maybe if I learn the language, because if I go without learning the language, I think it will be hard for me.